you lost today, kid. But it doesn't mean you have to like it. We're back! Mitchell Griffith here with Griffith Goods and Spirits, and today we're following one of the greatest explorers of all time. Everything lost is meant to be found. No. Not you! Archaeology is the search for facts, not truth. That's more like it. We're following Harrison Ford as he plays Indiana Jones in one of film's most popular franchises. I'm doing a cocktail so good it'll melt your face off and crab thermidor as we do Indiana Jones and the Last Crustacean. Want to make your next adventure easier? Well, Easy Bins has got you covered. Easy Bins is a convenient way for you to get all your groceries delivered straight to your door. They've got this recipe and hundreds more on their website. And with a variety of stores to choose from, you don't have to feel like you're hunting for treasure just to get your groceries. And use the code GRIFFITH5 at checkout in order to get $5 off your next Easy Bins order. This is your last chance! No, Dr. Jones! It's yours! We've got our holy grail here. This certainly is the cup of the king of kings. Now it's time to start on the cocktail. Today, we're doing a jalapeno lemon basil gimlet. We're gonna start off with a little bit of ice into our shaker tin. We're gonna add in two ounces of Hendrix gin. I love this gin. It has great botanical notes to it. We're gonna do one ounce of our lemon juice. We're gonna do one ounce of simple syrup. This just to balance out a little bit of the lemon, a little bit of the gin, and you got your jalapeno. Make sure to choose wisely, or you may end up like this guy. We're just gonna go ahead and give this a couple quick slices. We're gonna add in four small pieces of this jalapeno. We're just gonna drop those jalapeno slices right in there. And then we're just gonna give this a light shake. All right, and then after that, we're just gonna go ahead and open pour this straight into our goblet. Now, to garnish this cocktail, I've got a little bit of our fresh basil here. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a slap, then I'm just gonna drop it right into our cocktail. And now, you've got a gimlet that'll go down in history. That belongs in a museum. So do you! Now that we have our gimlet done, time to start on the crab thermidor. I'm just gonna go ahead and start cutting right around the top here. And you're just gonna go all the way around your entire sourdough loaf. And once you've cut all the way around it, you're just gonna go ahead and pop that top off. And you're gonna pull out some of this sourdough in here, but you're gonna wanna leave a little bit around the edges just so that your crab thermidor mixture doesn't leak all the way through. And this is what you want your bread bowl to look like after you're done pulling the inside out. Now that we have our bread bowl prepped, we're gonna set it to the side and get started on our crab thermidor. I just wasn't ready, Marcus. Now to start our crab thermidor dip. I've got one teaspoon of dill, one half teaspoon of onion powder, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, and one half teaspoon of paprika. We're just gonna go ahead and add those to our bowl here. We got eight ounces of crab meat. It's great. Don't have to do your own crab legs. You can just add that in there, break it up a little bit. We're gonna add in about an ounce of freshly shaved Parmesan cheese. And then we're gonna add in eight ounces of our cream cheese. Just gonna go ahead and drop that right in there. We're gonna go ahead and blend all of this together to get it going. We're just gonna go ahead and keep folding all of this together with a spatula just to make sure that all of those ingredients are super well incorporated. Now we're gonna add our final touches to this real quick. I'm gonna do juice of half a lemon. Just hold your hand over it so that you don't get any little bit, little bit of seed in there. Drop that down. We've got some basil here that I'm just gonna roll up real quick. We're gonna finely chop. And then, we're gonna toss that in there. We've got some chives here. Just to add a little bit of bite to this. You must believe, boy. You must believe. Salt and pepper this to taste. 
We're gonna add it to our bread bowl real quick. Do a couple twists of our pepper. And then we're just gonna take this, scoop this whole mixture into, okay, well, it's just gonna be like that. Whoops. We're just gonna pack that all the way down in there. Are you crazy? Now we're gonna turn our oven on to 350. And what we're gonna do is take our bowl, now that's nice and full, we're gonna put our cap on it, and then we're gonna wrap it with aluminum foil. And what this is gonna do is this is actually gonna keep your bread bowl from browning up anymore. And we're just gonna go ahead, toss this on our pan, along with all the inside of the bread to toast up a little bit. We're gonna toss it in the oven for about 10 minutes, and then we'll take all of our foil off of it. Well done. One of my favorite things about this recipe is all the different stuff that you can dip in it. In order to balance out a little bit of the creaminess of that crab thermidor dip, we've got some carrots, we've got peppers, we've got some celery, cucumber, and even an apple. It's more beautiful than I'd ever imagined. Now what I'm gonna do is chop all this up and get it ready for our charcuterie board. After 10 minutes in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and unwrap our bread bowl here. It's starting to get a little bit warm. And then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take our cap off here, set it aside. I'm gonna top this with a little bit of fresh Parmesan. So it has like a nice bubbly, gooey top to it. We're gonna add it back to the oven until that's melted. Dad! Oh, Dad! Oh, Dad! Oh, Dad! Oh, Dad. Oh, Head for the fireplace! Oh. One of my other favorite things about this recipe is how we dress the apples. I've got two apples sliced in there. I'm gonna add one ounce of lemon juice to this and just a pinch of salt. It's gonna add a little bit of sourness to this, but it's also gonna keep your apples from going mushy. And then we're just gonna go ahead and toss these around in this lemon juice and salt, and we'll add them onto our board. After another 20 minutes in the oven, we've got our crab thermidor completely ready with a nice crust on it. We've got an assortment of veggies and our lemon jalapeno gimlet. You're ready for family dinner. Well, made it. When we're airborne with Germany behind us, then I'll share that sentiment. Relax. Wanna go on more fun food adventures with us? Well, hit us up with a like, subscribe, and click that bell in order to be notified for the next family dinner. After about, after about another, after another 20 minutes, overhead shot. Now we're just gonna drop those jalapeno slices right in there. We're gonna go, yeah, that's it. Right into your cocktail, and you got a cock. I'm through!